what's up, you guys? Okay, so I have a confession. I have a lot of art projects I've been putting out. I have four things. A table that's pretty scratched up. Um, a hanger that I made with the four dogs that we had at the time. This sign that I want to use for um, when I do in-person sales. Or this yoga mat holder. Did I want to start with the yoga mat holder? No, and the truth is I didn't. I started with some of the other projects first, but they are having some issues and are taking just a little bit longer than anticipated. So I decided to work on this in the meantime while working on all the other projects. After sanding and repainting the black bottom, I taped off the hardware and the portion that we were going to focus on today. Right away we're going to jump in with some black paint so we can match our background of whatever I create to the bottom that is already black. One thing I didn't realize is I was using Liquitex black. I don't know what it is about this paint, but it loves to dry and kind of take over. So if you ever use Liquitex Black, just be weary of any other colors that you add on top of it because this will be your dominating force. I had this idea to do leaves and a flower I really wanted there to be some green aspect in this piece because my yoga mat is green. I thought it would be a great option to do some leaves and then some flowers. Of course my video cut short right when I'm doing the flowers, but here was that result. They ended up starting to dry and sink into the black as I mentioned before. So I decided right away as it was still wet to redo it again. I was a lot happier seeing how this turned out over the flowers. This was giving me the vibe that I was looking for. It had some green in there, but it definitely wasn't overpowered by green. Here I wish I didn't have that base coat of black because it did end up drying and taking over a bit, but this is the final result. This is what I ended up staying with, and I like how it turned out. I wish it would have dried these colors. And then here is our dried result. I'm just gonna pull the tape off real quick and get started on what I wanted to do with this final design. Because it did dry a bit dark, I decided to add something on top of it. And man, I'm sure happy that I did because I feel like this pulled the entire piece together. Next, I picked an ohm symbol to lightly pencil in at the top of my yoga mat holder on top of my poured paint section. To paint the ohm symbol, I used the same gold paint that I used in the paint pour, hoping that it would pop. As I painted it here, it just was not giving me that shine I was looking for. And you'll see what I ended up doing. Yeah. 
off camera, I did end up going over it with a gold leaf pen. Well, I think it's because I did it off of camera. It didn't end up dripping and I tried to fix it with a Q-tip. I think because of the alcohol or something that's in this gold leaf pen, it created this instant mark that I could not fix. So I did end up going back in and trying to flick some gold paint um, or even that gold paint marker on there. It just was not working with a paintbrush. So I ended up taking that gold leaf pen, holding down the top and just shaking it on top of this to give it this sparkled speckled gold look. And I did go in and add just a couple speckles right over that mistake to hide it perfectly. Taking off just the last little bits of tape here. And then our final result. Here is right when it was finished before that gold leaf has completely dried. I did end up shaking that gold leaf pen down the rest of the yoga mat holder just to kind of carry that gold theme all the way through. And just in case you need a reminder of what we were starting with, here it is. And here is the final result. I am so much happier with how this looks now. These gold details totally make it. I kind of want to take off the yoga mat holder piece that is currently silver and maybe spray it one day gold to match. But Right now I'm very happy because it's no longer sitting in a corner. It's actually gonna get some use. Now, realistically, I'm not gonna have it hanging up on the wall. I am gonna have it sitting on the floor in the corner as you can see here. But every time I walk by, I'm gonna feel so much happier looking at that final result. Hey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're ready because I'm not done yet. I have a lot more art projects that I've been avoiding as you saw. The table's almost ready. The sign is getting ready. So I hope you're ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye.